following developments tonight in the Trump presidency, and we have live pictures right now out of Greenville, North Carolina, where President Trump is holding a campaign rally tonight. We expect to hear about his ongoing feud with Democrats, in particular the four members of Congress who he targeted in racist tweets. And while he's there, he's, uh, there's a lot happening in Washington as Democrats hold a series of votes trying to hold the president and his administration accountable. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is live on Capitol Hill where lawmakers just voted against an impeachment resolution. Natalie. That's right. Good evening, Ruta Bay and Elliot. The House effectively killed this impeachment resolution, but the vote did show that Democrats are divided, with 95 House Democrats wanting to move forward and support this impeachment effort, while 137 Democrats were opposed to moving forward tonight, again highlighting a split within the party on this issue. President Trump kept up his attacks on four freshman Democratic Congresswomen of color on his way to a campaign rally in Greenville, North Carolina. If people want to leave our country, they can. If they don't want to love our country, if they don't want to fight for our country, they can. Uh, I'll never change on that. The resolution is adopted. Democratic lawmakers celebrated the passage of a resolution Tuesday condemning President Trump's tweets about the women, telling them to go back from where they came. I'm very glad that we drew a very firm line about that yesterday and called the president's comments what they were. Republicans decried the claims of racism and called the vote a political stunt. We can be doing so much more. And we should be doing so much better. Texas Congressman Al Green introduced articles of impeachment against the president, but the motion was tabled Wednesday evening. With all the respect in the world for Mr. Green, uh, we have six committees that are working on uh, following the facts in terms of uh, any abuse of power obstruction of justice and the rest. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has repeatedly said she's not ready to move forward with impeachment proceedings. It's one of several areas where she and the four freshmen known as the squad disagree. I'm apologetic about it. I'm definitely, definitely going to push forward and saying we have to impeach him. President Trump has been framing the squad as representing all Democrats, tweeting they are now the top most visible members of the House Democrats who are now, quote, wedded to this bitterness and hate. And back here on the Hill, it has been a busy night on the House floor. A short time ago, the House also voted to hold the Attorney General and Commerce Sec Secretary in criminal contempt over their failure to comply with House Democrats' subpoena requests regarding the uh, 2020 census and the citizenship question that the administration wanted to add. Now, that criminal contempt vote is considered largely symbolic. However, House Democrats Democrats could still choose to, to go to court and launch a legal battle to try to enforce their subpoena requests. Send it back to you. Natalie Brand, thank you for that live report from Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, we are keeping an eye on the president's campaign rally tonight in Greenville, North Carolina. We'll bring you any new developments as they occur. And of course, we'll have all the latest tonight on CBS 4 News at 11.